depends on mindset. Uh, another student was removed from my class, which is fine. Because... We had like career day, what do you want to do in the future? And this particular person was like, oh, I want to be a housewife, which is nothing wrong with that. But my point is, and I'm gonna get to the positive point and how you have to change your mindset. I'm putting some hot sauce up in here now. Change your mindset. My point is, um, be a housewife if that's what you want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. But what I said, you know, being a teacher, who cares? I said, that's fine. But make sure you still have your own. Make sure you still have your education. And I think I even used myself as an example. When the roles turned and I was left alone, Mm -hmm. I had my education to fall back on. And in my opinion, I could be wrong. If I if I if someone was saying that to my daughter, I never said there was anything wrong with being a stay-at-home mom. What I'm saying is still get your education. Have some type of career or something. Because when you're out of the I had another thought, but I ain't gonna go there. Because when you out of the wor workforce, 10, 15, 20 years, you're not as marketable, which lowers your chances. If anything goes awry, and maybe it won't, but you still want to have your education to fall back on. There are no guarantees that it'll work. There are no guarantees that it won't work. Honey, Honestly, I guess I could look up statistics on how many people get divorced. You guys can even do that research. Basic knowledge. It could work, it could not. But what is the one thing that can never be taken away from you? And if I had a teacher, this is for me. Maybe you guys disagree, and that's fine. But if I had a teacher, I'd be like, okay. But look at also look at it this way, and that's what we do. We do critical thinking, analysis of situations, analysis of questions. We go beyond the text and try to synthesize to come up with new ideas, new things. But if I had a teacher who was talking to my daughters like, this is real world. This is not fake world. This is real world. I'd be like, mm -hmm. well, the teacher makes sense. It worked out for me or whatever. And... You just keep getting your education. You want to be a housewife? One of your channels, honey. Have your own bag. I would appreciate if somebody is looking out for my child. This is just for me. Only me. You do what you want to do. And one of my daughters, and there's nothing wrong with it, okay? There's nothing wrong with it. But if one of my children, I think as a parent, we want our children to be better than us. For me, I do. I want my children to excel me. Leaps and bounds. We want the best for our children. Now, if one of my girls came and said, oh, I want to be... A stay at home mom. I want to be a housewife. Absolutely. You better keep getting your education. Be a housewife. But I want you to have your own bag, your own degree, your own trade, whatever it is. 
So if something does go wrong, and it may not, you're going to be all right. Yeah, and if I had someone who was saying that to my child, okay, she's looking out for you. Okay, that that's where your aspirations are? Okay. Because let me tell you, being a mother is one of the hardest jobs on the planet. On the planet. Mm-hmm. And from my personal perspective, if... Being a single mom of multiple kids by yourself, multiply that by a billion. Mm -hmm. But luckily for me, I had my education and other little talents that I was able to fall back on. And trust me, I fell back on them a couple of times. Hustled in the darkness a couple of times. Well, people didn't know what I was doing. But what I was doing was planning for my escape. Mm -hmm. Because I had things and skills to fall back on. I would be happy if somebody was like, okay, do that, but also have that. I've been down that road. I've been down that road. And could things have worked out? Yeah. Could they not? So here's both ends of the coins. At the end of the day, be able to take care of you. No shade. No nothing. I want people to encourage my children like that. Will be a mentor. Let me tell y'all, the nuts not bad. It kind of gives it a little meat, something. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, y'all. Mm hmm. She almost saw her. Mm hmm. And after I eat this, If I'm still a little peckish, I'll just eat a quick apple. Um, honey crisp apple. Honey crisp apples are good. So that's my tea. I have another story time. So, and it's always two sides to a story. And maybe... You only hear one side. Mm -hmm. There's always two sides. Your side, my side, and the truth. Or a little misunderstanding. But if you take the situation and think about it in a positive light, in a positive way, I love when people look out for my children. And a lot of a lot of you do. A lot of people have grown to love them do. And I wouldn't take offense. Not at all. You know, but something negative. Like I said, if that's what you want to do, it's your life fine. But my advice be able to take care of you if it doesn't work out. And if it does work out, good. But if it doesn't, you still good. Because you didn't let the ideology of earning something that can never be taken away from you. And that's up here. Mm -hmm. And statistically, not saying that it happens all the time, not for everybody. But statistically, those numbers are high for single moms. And it's also part of building those relationships, caring about the children that you um, teach. 
because you want the best for them as if they're your own children. But I guess some people don't see it that way. Mm -hmm. I have kids who come to my class all the time and want a hug. Kids I don't even know. Hey, Miss Papa! All the time. I'll say this, you're never going to get another basil. <laughs> Maybe you don't want another basil, and that's okay, too. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with that, too. But I think a lot of things could be a simple conversation, too. Simple conversation. That was good. I want to say... Ooh, that was everything. Mm. It was good. It wasn't disgusting. I could have added more seasoning to it. But it did its job. Oh, I forgot to put olives in there, y'all. Forgot my dang olives. Oof, it's going to be rough trying to edit, y'all. Sister tired. She tired. Let's put some in here. I don't want to get too many olives. I'm just tired. I just haven't I haven't recovered just enough olives. I think I had too many. I haven't fully recovered from Arkansas. That's what it is. I'm gonna fully recover. Mm. She good. Mm. Like I already had enough. I want the rest of these. I probably snack on my apple. I have some water. And clean up. Plop these eyelashes off. Set my alarm clock for maybe 525. So I can get up and take my tail to the gym. Mm hmm. I don't know, maybe five. It depends what time I go to bed. I just, for me, I need like a good four to five hours of sleep. But this right here is catching up with me. It's catching up. I'm tired. But that was good. It wasn't like the bomb, but it was good and satisfying. Maybe more seasoning. Maybe I want to experiment with different seasonings. I know a lot of people use turmeric. I don't. And then I did use my heated blanket. See, like it's 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 cool in here, but it's not cold. Looking for my sweater. I did use my heated blanket last night, and you could put a timer on this heated blanket. So I just put the timer. I think I had the timer for just one hour, and it'll shut off automatically. Hopefully, that meal inspired you. Ooh, mushrooms and onions would have been bombing that bomb. Honestly, I don't feel like cutting no onions. Mm -mm. I don't feel like cutting that. And um, I can still smell the steak, so I need to spray down everything, wipe down everything. I'll do that this weekend. Yeah, so maybe I'll try to edit a little bit of video. Sister Tide, I'll edit the video. Oh, maybe I could just eat half an apple. And I think I had peanut butter, but I was like, I looked at the ingredients, 
I was like, mm mm. So what I'm gonna do when I go to the store, when I go back to the store, I'm going to look for almond butter, something more natural, and see how that it tastes. I love peanut butter and the apple. And so I love the honey peanut butter, the natural peanut butter, but it was like sugar. So I I left it at school. And what I'm also going to do is I think I have like a lot of little things at school so i'm thinking that i'll give um raffle tickets to kids who are going above and beyond and then at the end of every class i'll um, do a raffle drawing because i have so many little knickknacks and stuff that i need to start giving away and not wait to the last minute the things will probably end up in the trash. The students will probably end up trashing them, losing them, whatever. But I, I, I want to start giving things away. So I think I'm going to start that. I'll probably implement that next week. That's what I'll do. Just start getting rid of stuff. All right, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up. I got stuff in my teeth. I know I do. <laughs> All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up or not you're gonna do what you want to do anyway but i do appreciate it and um hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so and she a mess up in here y'all i'm too embarrassed to show, show y'all this mess and i haven't gone to storage so i'm in here but i i washed clothes last week and then we were gone for two weeks i was like oh what can i wear to work up in here tomorrow i don't feel like going to storage i'm gonna try to hold out to the weekend I'll work it out. <laughs> All right, y'all. Until next time. Later.